Hey guys, John V here from Phone Reina. Right now I have the Acer Konya Tab A200 and I'm just gonna run a couple benchmark tests, show you the kind of uh, results the tablet is, is able to get out of the box. Now as far as just the specs, uh, it's nothing really we haven't seen before just because it packs the usual NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor, dual core obviously, and also is coupled with a uh, one gigabyte RAM. And of course when you compare that to something like the uh, Transformer Prime with its quad core processor, it doesn't seem as impressive as before when uh, you know NVIDIA Tegra 2 uh, tablets first came onto the scene. As far as the uh, performance out of the box, um, we don't have that many widgets right now. You could tell it's very fluid as far as its uh, movement and the tracking of our finger. Very nice with a static wallpaper. You launch a bunch of different applications, go through the, the uh, app listing here, let's go through to the gallery. Uh, you could tell that it is pretty pretty quick with its movements here. So it's nice and fluid, but let's switch it up to a, uh, a live wallpaper, a little, something that's a little bit more processor intensive, just to see uh, what kind of results. Not that many here, so let's just choose one for example. Now this isn't the uh, the uh, most process, processor intensive uh, live wallpaper out there. It's still a good fluid rate, you could tell. No, just a hint of choppiness, not that bad. Put it back to a to a portrait here. Usually portrait, you notice just yeah, there's just a slight delay with its movement here. And again, that's just typical of what we see with uh, pretty much most uh, honeycomb tablets. So let's bring it back to a static wallpaper here, and we're going we're gonna to run the first benchmark test, uh, being Quadrant. Let's just run that. Now we've already ran the test here. Um, as far as just the results, nothing really all that impressive. Here's one of the tests that we ran. Put up a score of 18.14. Let's just run it again here, so you can see exactly uh, what it's going to be able to put out. Um, again, it's just all in a matter of you know what you feel is uh, a good speed with the tablet. And out of the box, you know it's nice. It's not the most uh, you know the, the most responsive thing we checked out. You know when you compare it to the Asus Transformer Prime that we got a hands-on look. Um, you know you definitely notice the uh, it's not as fluid as before. As far as these graphical tests are concerned. Um, pretty much the results are pretty typical of any other honeycomb tablet like this one here running around 30 frames per second on the average. It's jumpy between 25 to 30, but that's pretty normal. Uh, this next graphical test here, um, normally we see 60 frames per second, but it's running between 40 and 50. So, you know, not, not that strongest. And this last one here, jumping way up and down between 30 to 60 frames per second. So right off the bat, you know, you could tell already that, you know, num the results aren't going to be all that stellar. So let's take a look and see what the uh, results are here for this first one. Again, 18.14 for the first one we checked out. And we're just waiting here for a set moment. Make sure we're connected to the internet. Yep, sure are. And there you go. So it is a uh, score of 15.12, nothing that great. Let's just run it real quick again and see if we get a consistent score. And that's pretty much uh, the, not, you know, the uh, figures that we run into between 1500, 1800. It doesn't break the 2000 mark. Um, you know, we've seen other devices, even smartphones like the Galaxy S2 line, you know, break easily into the 3000 mark. So this is nothing really all that impressive. Uh, but for just, you know, basic tasks, it's more than sufficient. Again, all these graphical tests pretty much in line to what we've seen on other tablets. 30, 40 frames per second on the average with this uh, with this graphical component here, graphical test here. Next one should be coming up. Still quick as far as the overall completion of the quadrant um, the quadrant benchmark test, but no, not as fast as some other tablets out there. So it's going to wrap up here. And here we go. So this time around, it puts in 1850, and again, what we saw earlier, nothing all, nothing that great. So if we, um, let's go check, take a look at the Antutu benchmark. We've ran it, and here are the results. So let's just go back. So here are the results. Now, an overall score, you can tell all the, uh, all the components of the test here, it gave it a final score of 5018. So when we put that in the score chart, and we compare it to some of the uh, the other other devices out there in the market. Just swipe over. You can tell the Asus Transformer Prime at the top of the list here, putting in you know pretty pretty nice number. Just see if we can zoom out here. So here we go. Just resize it so you can see. 
Let's put it back to bar. There we go. So the Asus Transformer Prime at the top list, Galaxy Note, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy S2. This device, you know, pretty much on par to what you find the LG Optimus 2X and the Amazon Kindle Fire, apparently. 5018, so nothing all that stellar. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to learn more about the Acer Iconia Tab 8200, check out our website, phonerina.com.